Adi, you're not even trying at this point, are you? Yeah. How about you folks? You ready for some good news? First up, a vaccine now in clinical trials is aiming at a new target in the fight against Alzheimer's disease. Most Alzheimer's treatments target the amyloid plaques that form in the brains of those who suffer from the disease. While some of these treatments have seemed promising, many have also resulted in serious side effects, such as brain inflammation. Now, a new vaccine currently in phase one clinical trials is being developed with the hope of combating Alzheimer's while avoiding the side effects by targeting not the amyloid plaques, but the tau protein. Tau protein is the key component in neurofibrillary tangles, which are one of the primary markers for Alzheimer's disease. The new vaccine, being developed at Sweden's Karolinska Institutet, stimulates the production of an antibody that is able to differentiate between normal, healthy tau protein and pathological tau that is related to Alzheimer's. So far, the vaccine has been successful in triggering the desired immune response with only minor side effects observed. The paper on the new pathological tau vaccine is published in the journal Lancet Neurology. <laughs> Next up, a new patch could someday provide a painless replacement for hypodermic needles. Here's another innovation from Sweden, this time from KTH Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm. Researchers at KTH have designed a patch made of a soft polymer embedded with 50 micro needles. The tiny needles penetrate the skin, enabling the patch to be used for drug delivery, fluid extraction, or monitoring physiological signals. And the patch is virtually painless. Not only is the micro needle patch more comfortable for patients, it's less prone to cause infection as well, since the micro needles don't directly enter the bloodstream. The paper on KTH's microneedle patch is published in the journal PLUS ONE. And finally, researchers in Michigan are developing a device that will capture energy from human motion. Engineers at the University of Michigan are working on the device, a nano generator made from a silicon wafer covered with thin sheets of silver and other materials, the various layers of which contain charged particles. The device is able to convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. The device is called FENG, or F-E-N-G, which is short for ferroelectric nanogenerator. In tests, it was able to power LED lights and a touchscreen. The team working to develop this technology hopes that someday electronic devices will incorporate FENGs into their designs, which could allow us to charge our phones, tablets, or other devices while we use them by harvesting energy from our own movements. This research was funded by the National Science Foundation. A new vaccine combats Alzheimer's disease by targeting pathological tau proteins. A painless patch could one day replace hypodermic needles. And thanks to a paper-thin nano generator, someday we could be powering our phones and tablets using power generated by our own movements. That's the good news. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.